Hello, and welcome to this Attentional Automation Platform 2020.1 Showcase, in which I'll talk about transformations and our new JST design tool. JSON Schema Transformations, or JSTs, have been introduced in IAP 2020.1 to solve one major problem. How do I take the data that came from one API call in my automation and transform it or manipulate it so that it fits the input schema of the next API call? Whenever you are dealing with end-to-end -end network automations, you have to integrate with multiple systems. It could be a ticketing system like Jira or ServiceNow. It could be an inventory system like Netbox, or maybe you want uh, one that you've developed uh, internally. And you need to integrate with a system that actually makes changes on your devices like Salt, SaltStack, Ansible, NSO. While it is easy to string those API calls together, what is hard is actually making the data payload work together. For example, how do I get the netbox data that I received from a get call and pass it down to Ansible to actually make it usable and have useful information in my Ansible call? This is exactly what we solve with JSTs. Let's jump right into a quick demo. What you see here is our JST designer web service that we've made publicly available for anyone to build adjacent schema transformations. We can use incoming schemas and define outgoing schemas. And we have all of those methods and functions available on the right to make sure we can build reusable schema transformations and we can also manipulate that data. We have a user tour on the top right that I highly recommend for first time users to uh, let you work through the platform and through what we can do. But we also have a lot of examples that illustrate different things we can do with JST Designer and that you can actually build on top of if you choose to do so. Let's start with the query example. We have the incoming schema here on the left and an outgoing schema on the right. We have a body that is an object that has a couple of values and devices underneath. And we have a message, a device, and a group as an outgoing schema. This could be, for example, the API response that I get. And maybe I make three different API calls, one to a notification system with a message, one to a system like NSO with the actual device info, and one to my ticketing system that updates the group info of that device. These are just random examples. But what you see, what I can do here, is I can just add the name if I wanted the name of the device to be added as well. And I can just add that here. And now this value will be available for my next API call that I built within my automation. There's a couple of more advanced examples as well. For example, the template example, which allows you to use a template literal to use different aspects of an address and combine that into one address string. One example that goes even a little further is the map example. And I want to walk you through that um, real quick as well. So what we have here is the employees array, which has a first name and the last name, and we have a company string. And then we have a map function, which is basically a function that runs the email builder that we have defined as another function on each element of an array. So if I click here into my uh, function, we see that I've opened a different tab, email builder. And now we see what's going on here. There's another template literal being used where the first and the last name is combined with the company information. And if we look into here, what we see is that we put those together uh, by using the first name dot last name at company.com to build valid email addresses. Let's see this in action and see how that runs. We have this run button here on the left. And what I also have is I copied uh, an object that just has three names, me included, and the company identical. That's when we run this transformation, what we get from this input value is what we expect is an email of valid email addresses for all of those employees. This is only one way I can use uh, JSON schema transformations. I could query out entries in object, I could set sets, I could do string manipulations, I can do equality or date operations, whatever I need to make sure I can easily stitch together in a low-code environment the response of one API call with the input necessary for the next API call. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please check out our new JST design.